Hello, my name is Ashley and I'm the Adult Services Librarian at the Gretna Public Library. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make bubble art. The method I'll be using for this is with food coloring. Okay, so to make our food coloring, I have one and a fourth cups of warm water. I have two tablespoons of sugar. I have a third cup of uh, clear liquid dish soap. And then I also have a little cup here. And then you're gonna need straws, a spoon, and then you're going to need paper. It could be regular paper, it could be cardstock paper, it could be watercolor paper, whatever that you have or whatever that you like. So we're going to dump our sugar into the water like so. And then you just wanna stir it so that the sugar starts to dissolve in there. And then we're going to add our soap. And then we're going to slowly stir it. We don't want the bubbles to form yet because that comes later. So we just want to have that incorporated in. like that. And then this will have enough where you can do four different cups. So you can have four different colors. So for this one, I'm just going to do the one. You don't need a whole lot of water for it. And then I'm going to be using a yellow food coloring here. And it only takes a couple of drops. Um, it just depends on how much you want in there for the darkness. Okay, so I'm at three here. And then I'm going to take my straw. And I'm just going to start stirring it in. Like so. And then when you go blow through your straw, you're going to want to go slow. So then that way you can get the bubbles forming and it doesn't splatter all over the place. So you want it so it starts to bubble at the top and then you take your paper and you can start doing that. You can see it's starting to do that here, but I got different colors as well. So I'm going to bring out the blue so it'll show up a little bit easier. And if you want the rings, you just slowly push it onto the top and then you're just going to lift it back up and you see how you got that ring. Otherwise you can do some edging with it as well. So then I'll just take my paper here. I'm just going to start to add it around the edges as I go, like so, so it doesn't have to be just the circles. And I'm going to grab my green here. You 
get different colors like that. And then I also have a different way that you can do them too. So while I'm still using the green, you're just going to want to stir your straw into whatever color that you have. You want to make sure that you still have some left in at the bottom. And then you're going to gently blow so you can form a bubble. And then I'll just kind of pop. So it's going to look more like round bubble dots. You don't have to worry about it being perfect because every one's going to be unique and different for theirs. Plus it's kind of fun to experiment and try and see what you come up with. You can have little bubbles, you can have big bubbles, it just all depends on your preference. And this is something that all ages can do. Children might need a little bit more supervision on it, but it's a really fun activity and it's very relaxing. And then using these two techniques, you can come up with different designs. You can use them for stationery. You can use these for bookmarks. It just depends on what you think would look best for what you have. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, happy crafting.